Here's in this year, he's like, Mr. Gates, I want to do something for the school. So we put him in the hockey uniform for almost every event. He's lost like 25 pounds. You know about that? Today he wanted to get put in that glass thing. So we do, we do what the kids ask around here within reason. Young lady who works really hard, really quiet, um, but not when she's leading a tour. Uh, when she's not leading a tour, you won't even hear her speak. Um, which is a good thing for me because I've been trying to discipline so I don't have to deal with her much. But uh, no, this young lady's a leader because she's with us and she's amazing. Amy Lee Cruz, where are you? Come over here. She does talk. Don't get her started, she won't stop. Uh, next one, uh, one of our seniors. Uh, one of the first people that I met when I came into school um, just always wants to be involved in anything that has to do with leadership. So, um, you know, what can I do? Came over in the summer, gave PD to our staff, which means like taught our staff how to run the building this year. Um, you know, what can I do? How can I be involved? Um, and always looking for like the hardest leadership challenge. Uh, so this senior is going to do big things when they graduate and go on to college and a whole bunch of other stuff. Denisha Medina. <laughs> All right. Uh, this young lady is interesting because she transferred in from uh, a different school this year, so I've gotten to know her. Um, really hard worker, really insightful, somebody that um, has a desire to just be done with high school and be an adult, like in a good way. Sometimes you grow up and you're like 16 and you're like, I just want to be done with this and I want to start my life. And this kid's already there, which you, believe it or not, can be a really good thing. So we're trying to find find a way where maybe she can get out of here and finish as quick as possible so she can get out with the bigger and better things in life. I don't know if they're bigger and better than high school though. Mm -hmm. Emily Velasquez. This girl, we didn't like each other for a long time, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, but we come to an understanding somehow because she grew up and she realized I was right about everything I was ever telling her. Uh, no, but she's just, she's a good kid who cares about people. Um, and yeah, it's also somebody that you wouldn't expect to want to be part of this because you're leading people, you're in front of people, you're talking in front of adults and kids. And yeah, but you wouldn't know it unless you got to know her. And we got to know her, and she's, she's definitely an amazing leader. Luzeta Reyes. <laughs> I don't say nice things about them often, so this is like, you know, uh, awkward. Awesome. It's not true. All right, um, this kiddo, oh my gosh. So I had, this student had some discipline problems already this year. And was in my office and almost didn't make it on our team. We had to have a team vote whether or not this person would stay. And then he said yes. And ends up being like one of our stronger Daddy. leaders. Like huge voice, 10th grader. Thank goodness we're happy for a couple more years. And just somebody that uh, knows how to take ownership when she makes mistakes, which is um, a huge skill and something that leaders have. So this person's a leader, Genesis Rodriguez. <laughs> So there's a couple kids that you have to just don't always like rub with. This one's older sister. We didn't get along. Uh, but before they left here, we, we kind of came to an agreement. And this one came in, I'm like, oh no, another few years. Or, but no, this one stepped up. It was kind of like heading down a little bit of the wrong path, a little sassy, a little attitude. Um, just wasn't sure if they were going to take on a leadership role and then jumped on this team and has um, grown so much. Still has issues sometimes with the phone, with the attitude, but also like, just found out the other day, in their shot, they kill it. They are like super talented, super talented to the point of like, the teachers are like, by the time they're a senior, they could end up with a, like, a gold medal at the competition they have if they keep working. So. Uh, you, you don't know this about yourself, but naturally friends. Oh. <laughs> right, uh, this girl usually takes my place and does all the talking in front of people. She's welcome, 
all of our middle school kids. So she stood here, and when they came in, we'd be like, come on in, sit down, blah, blah, blah. And then she would like make sure I didn't talk much, which is a good thing. And uh, this person also, just the other day, was in a tough situation about being able to continue with her sports. But instead of being like, yeah, I'm just going to like not do these sports, took the last couple of days to spend like 10 hours in class getting work done, getting it done and getting it done right. Um, because that's what leaders do. They make mistakes, they're not always perfect, but when it comes down to it, they will step up, and this one stepped up, and we'll be on the softball team, pending your English, English? No. Miss <coughs> Westcott's great team. Now you show her keys. <laughs> yeah, so probably, yeah, probably a student that, like if you had boxing gloves, like you would go at it with, this is the one. So, um, wicked attitude, uh, yeah, just attitude, oh my gosh. But, when they turn the attitude off, when they turn the attitude off, arrives this like unbelievable leader, like manager material, 15 year old manager material, like could like get on, like if we had a fire here, like we'd all be safe, because she'd be like, boop, 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 rock on what we don't like. But she would be like, all right, let's go, you're all going out, like we like, take control of this room, like that, and tell me where to go. Um, so even though you look at it like it's attitude, there's actually something deeper. And this person has emerged as a huge leader. Um, and won't be afraid to say to me like at the beginning of today, what are we gonna do when, and like challenge my thinking. Like I'm supposed to know it all, but he's like, Mr. Gates, what are you gonna do when a parent comes and if their table's like all right, and I'm like trying to think through things. Alexander Ramos. <laughs> Here. Uh, there's like two kids that you always see together. This one likes to fire up his buddy all the time. Um, he's a good man. He's a leader in our building. Uh, just always trying to do the right thing. And then when he doesn't do the right thing, we'll like smile and act like he's always doing the right thing. But we know he's not. He's an Eddie Haskell in our crew. We love him to death though. Anthony Aguilar. I call him. He's got like six family members here today. He's fired up. All right. Uh, we're gonna some balls. Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right, I'll hurry it up a little bit. Uh, young lady that came to us this year works super hard, super super hard, but is really quiet. So she's a quiet. We have a lot of those. Uh, and she's somebody that. Even when her friends are sitting at a table and they're not like being nice to adults, she's the one that will always say like, how you doing Mr. Roundtree? When nobody else will say hi to Mr. Roundtree or hi Mr. Gates. Like steps out of it, doesn't really care what her friends think. So, and that's a leader in high school, that's really hard. Tasia Dorn. Like, as far as I'm concerned, already graduated. She is like, sometimes I look at her like she doesn't belong in high school because she has that, she's an adult mindset, um, really mature, has no time for the petty stuff. Just, yeah, like if this person is not like going to college next year and working as a senior, I'd be surprised. Um, huge leader, uh, <laughs> never in any trouble, no mischief. Um, and yeah, she's got something to say, she'll say it. So, Adelise Torres, where are you? <laughs> Another representative with a really strong voice and somebody that has been involved from the beginning, uh, ran for office, got a position in our school, works really hard, always wants to be involved in change. So if there's something to be changed, she says, can I be involved in it? And she wants to have her voice heard, and it is heard. Um, this is a strong leader in our school, Barry Ani Ramos. This kid definitely didn't show up. He told me he hates to be recognized. So he's not here. Oh, he is. So, so he's getting a special one. He hates to be recognized because like, I don't even know why, to be honest with you. He's amazing. He's in um, health services right now. He wants to work with little kids. He wants to help. He wants to be in pediatrics. And he's a male and he's like amazing. And we're really proud of him. 
and he's been a great tour guide and somebody that definitely tried to break every rule when I first got here just to make me mad. <laughs> but he puts his hood on when I'm coming. He doesn't even like wearing something when he goes. It's a rule here he likes to break it. But when it comes to being a leader, Zach, Martin is one of our leaders. <laughs> All right, uh, this is the other half of Anthony. Um, this kid wants to be like me. He just shaved his head the other day. We have a really tight bond. Um, he makes mistakes too, but he has a big heart, and he's a leader for many reasons. He's got a he's on a mission in the school the next few years to really change some minds about some big stuff. So come on up here, Adam Santos. <laughs> put things in his eye, too, I don't know why <laughs> All right, so this is a kid that came here, like when we called leadership kids to come down, she came down like not needing any friends to come with him. So she was just like, yeah, I want to be a part of that. And it didn't matter if like anybody came. Um, and then came down here and was like, give me a group of kids. Didn't need a friend, didn't need her cell phone out. Like, yeah, just was driven to do work by herself. And that's just, you don't find that in high school all the time. You just don't. So. We look for uh, big things out of this person the next couple years. I mean, sophomore. Uh, Nora Angeli Andalus. She does have friends. She just doesn't care if they're around her. Right, this guy was our knight. Is he here? Oh, yeah, our knight. He's carrying around a big sword. He's really scary. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about him except for he put on the knight outfit and we're like the hawks. So he's just a leader because he was brave enough to do that. Uh, come on up here, Emmanuel. Give me a bite. Give me a bite. Give me a bite. Give me a bite. So I talked about Victor already, um, but it, he is a special kid because he's a senior that wanted to be involved. Congratulations. So um, putting that hockey uniform on, I've done it myself for the parade. It's not easy. And uh, we're really proud that Victor joined our team this year. You're a leader, Victor. Super gamers, somebody that I didn't expect to be able to get in front of people and just like, boom, like deliver, like as a leader like he could. I thought he was like, I thought that was just like video game guy, stereotypes, like did all that stuff that he shouldn't do. And then he got in front of kids and remembered everything about our school. Like, knew every teacher's name, knew every, like, where kids went to college, like, killed it. And I was like, wow. Like, probably one of the top three tour guides in our building for delivering, and that's Joseph Mazzano. <laughs> you blew my mind. All right. This guy is a pain in my butt because, like, he just is all the time. But he's a huge leader, and he helps with whatever I ask him to help with. It doesn't matter. He's like, I'll go up to the third floor and I'm going to give tickets away. I'm going to do this. I'm going to set up your raffle. I'm going to do whatever. He like just wants to help out. Tell me where to be. Jose Colon. what it is yet, but she got offered a full-time job. A full-time job, making big money, because she's a leader. That's why. We introduced her to her the other day. She's hiding in the back room right now, because she knew her name was going to get called. Kiara's a super, super leader in our building. Kiara Gonzalez, there you go, kid. He's getting all his work done. He's one of our best Best in culinary, he can cook. Marlon Crenshaw is the absolute man. If you get a chance to let this guy cook for you, let him cook for you, because he's going to be famous someday. Get out of here, Marlon Crenshaw. Love you, man. The student was actually right. The student was right. So um, the student had a problem with the teacher. The teacher had a problem with the student, but the student, in the end, was absolutely correct. So we had to have the teacher say sorry to the student, which is rare. Jenny Lee is fada. Ashley Barrios, uh, super senior. She hangs out with Denisha, so sometimes when Denisha's getting credit, uh, she ends up like, in the shadow. 
But this one here is actually the, the true leader of the two. She's not here to hear this, I was gonna tell her. Uh, this one here is the one that does all the hard work when the other one gets the credit for it. This one here, yeah, I see it, right? But she also doesn't care if she's playing. She doesn't care if coaches recognize her. She doesn't care about any of that stuff and stays quiet. And that's what leaders do. They're quiet, they set back, they're not always shh. And that's what you are. You're a leader, and we're glad to have you on our team. Ashley Barrios. Our last leader right here, this young lady is one of our most special because we had her brother here and he was, uh, was he a good boy? Yeah, he was a good boy too. But this one here told me today that she might not be coming back with us next year. She might be going to Florida and um, she has done nothing but come into this school and make changes for her future. She is bright, she's smart, she's hardworking, she's separated from a group that is not easy to separate from. They're like really strong. Oh, look at that. They're really like strong personalities and they're people that you just can't get away from. And she's walked away from that crew. You don't do that in high school. Kenya Lee's Burgos, one of our leaders, super excited that she's here for us. Thanks for waiting, Kenya. And I think that concludes it. Thanks for hanging in with us till the end. <laughs>